at the United Technology Center in Bangor, high school students take classes including automotive, construction, and culinary arts. Yeah, we're very hands-on and we're trying to teach a trade. Aaron Jackson teaches video and audio production at UTC. And this was probably the first year that I felt comfortable with my curriculum, um, with the teaching methods that I've learned, and then everything just got flipped on its head. Upside down with no computers, no professional cameras, no lighting equipment. It's been a little frustrating, but we've been finding different ways to work through it. It didn't really make sense for me to sit here every day and instruct them when they could be out doing the things that I'm asking them to do. So video production is now an all project based class. Law enforcement, on the other hand, is still taught virtually. Same days, same time. My morning class, they show up at 8.30 in the morning online, just like they would if we were still in school, trying to keep a good routine down for them. Mr. Smart's really good at bringing outside resources into us. So we've met a lot of um, police officers, game wardens, and people from the National Guard. No in-person demonstrations, but instead teaching through YouTube videos. My goal is to have them find someone that's, you know, in their household with them and be able to demonstrate that they can they can put somebody through these field sobriety tests. Despite everything, students are learning greatly needed skills for Maine's workforce. In Bangor, Hannah Yeshivi, New Center, Maine.